Tonight's quilt is going to be fast and fun to piece. It's a table runner, making it perfect for entertaining. Plus, it's stash busting friendly, so let's get to it. The quilt pattern is called Bon Appetit, and it's perfect for using pre-cut 10-inch squares or you can pull from your stash, making it very versatile for decorating your house. Now you could buy the whole kit if you want to get this beautiful fabric for yourself, or you can buy just the pattern if you have a healthy supply of fabric. Although, I don't know any quilters that have a good stash, right? That's a joke, of course. And you have these beautiful fabrics here with the light pinks and the tans. This is going to be just perfect. So using my 10-inch squares and some accent fabric, I cannot wait to make this table runner. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting up my 10-inch squares. Using a table runner is pretty much all the decorating I like to do. Besides, it hides the crumbs on the table. It makes me look pulled together as a hostess and entertainer, but really it's just an indulgence because I love to make quilting projects. And that's why I put together a list of my favorite tips for entertaining. I call it the Quilter's Guide to the Perfect Party. These are the tips that make me look like an all-star party thrower. First, only invite friends that have houses messier than yours. That way they're impressed when they come over. Okay, I have all my pieces to make one beautiful table runner. I'm going to set these strips aside for right now. I'm going to focus on these and make two at a time half square triangles, which we've seen before on this show. <coughs> Singularity. That quilt was awesome. So I have my squares cut for my pre-cuts, and then I also have squares of the accent fabric that's really going to pull this all together. Now before I show you how to make two at a time half square triangles, I know you're dying for some more party tips, right? Check with your local pizza place for specials. The more gourmet the pizza, the fancier your party looks. And while you're at it, go ahead and pick up all your sides pre-made at the grocery store. But be sure to take them out of the plastic container and put them in your own bowls. And throw all that trash away before your friends come over. Because we all have that nosy friend that notices all the containers in the trash, am I right? Now that we know how we're going to do our party, let's talk about our half-square triangles. I'm going to take a square of the accent fabric and a square of the print, and I've drawn a line from one corner to the opposite corner. I'm going to put them right sides together and sew a quarter inch on each side of that line. Once finished, all you have to do is cut on that drawn line, press them open, and trim them, and repeat until you have a lot of those half-square triangles. Now that we have our half-square triangles, we're going to make a patchwork center to our block using our strips that we cut out of our pre-cut 10-inch squares. And I'm just going to sew them together in groups of two so that I can sub-cut them here in a moment. For my next tip, the dirtier your table is, the more stuff you should add for decoration. For instance, I'm making this beautiful table runner, but I did some fun quilt as you go placemats that will look great with a coordinating fabric, so be sure to check that out. Now that I have my units sewn together, I'm going to sub cut them into squares and then sew them together to make four patches. Now that I have a stack of four patch blocks, I'm going to sew four of them together to make a 16 patch block. And I'm going to try to arrange them so that it looks as scrappy as possible. Not a big deal, but for the most part, that's what I'm going for. Oh, and that just reminds me of another tip. When at all possible, have an outdoor party, whether out, out in your lawn or at a park. That way you don't have to clean the house. Well, it's probably a good idea if you clean the bathroom because people probably want to use that. But other than that, you don't have to clean anything up. So now that I have my four patches laid out, I'm going to sew them together in groups of two and then sew those groups together. This is actually going to form the center of our block, so we're going to grab the rest of our four patches and our half square triangles and see how the rest of it goes together. Starting with my patchwork center, I'm going to add those half square triangles around the outside to make flying geese or the points of our star, however you like to look at that. And I'm going to take the remaining four patch blocks and put them in the corners. And the result is a scrappy star that's going to look beautiful on our table. And if you want to be a star at your next party, don't be afraid to take up guests on their offer to bring something, or better yet, make it a potluck. So to assemble this block, I'm going to sew the half square triangles together, sew them into rows, and then sew the rows all together to make our block. So my beautiful scrappy star block is finished, but I need more than just one to make a table runner. So I have three other blocks right here to make a beautiful centerpiece to my table. I'm going to lay them out in a row of four, just like that, making sure it's nice and scrappy, looking great, and I'm going to sew them all together. So now my beautiful table runner is starting to come together. I have the four blocks that I've already pieced together. 
I have my inner border with accent fabric and this beautiful piece border that really shows off all the prints in the quilt. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get this assembled. So my table runner is finely pieced and I have a fun pieced backing to go with it. This backing is gonna make it almost like a double-sided table runner. So if one side gets stained, I can just flip it over and use the other side. Now that's efficient. Well, I'm gonna get this basted and get to machine quilting it, but I have another party tip for you. For efficient party throwing, hold multiple parties at the same time. A nephew's birthday party, a bridal shower, and a wedding anniversary, perfect, all in one. And if you like that tip, you should probably go ahead and subscribe, because you never know what kind of life advice you'll learn on the Midnight Quilt Show. The space in between the star points is a perfect place for a continuous curve motif. Starting from an outer corner, I'm gonna quilt a line that curves in towards the center, and then out towards the middle of the next side and back. And I'm gonna continue working my way around that square going curving out to a point, coming back, until I reach my beginning point. This narrow border is perfect for the wishbone design. It's super easy to quilt. I'm just gonna start by quilting a line that goes up at an angle and loops back and around as I approach the opposite edge. Quilting another line that angles in the opposite direction and looping back the other direction. So it's kind of almost like quilting a cursive L. And I'm gonna go back and forth, working my way along that border until the whole area is filled in. And this table runner is finished. Who doesn't love a quick and easy project that helps decorate your house? It was so fun to make the scrappy star blocks using all the different fabrics, as well as the accent fabric, which was perfect for machine quilting on. I had so much fun highlighting the blocks with continuous curved designs, as well as quilting wishbones in the border. The best part, it's reversible. So if one side gets dirty, I can just flip it over and use the other side. Now don't forget, if you want, you can buy the kit, which includes the fabric that I used and the pattern, or if you wanna use your own stash, you can buy the pattern separately. It's a great way to decorate. And now for my last party tip for the quilter that wants to throw the perfect party. No matter what party you throw, just make sure it's over by midnight because we know what happens after midnight. Happy quilting and I'll see you next time. <laughs>